Okay, we're finishing this Taurus reading. Um, triggered because every man you sleep with never speak to you again. Um, it's rejection twice on here. It says triggered. It said triggered by rejection. If you reject me, I will find several men and women to get revenge on you. So someone could be doing this, and it could be a Virgo, but someone have healed themselves or need to heal themselves, need to love themselves and learn to fill up their own cup. Um, someone could have dealt with a Scorpio that could have used them or stole from them in the past or could be trying to do that now. This could have something to do with the music industry. Someone is being deceptive. Um, and they're addicted to stealing people's other people's work is what I'm getting. Other people's ideas, rap versus music, wisdom, knowledge, ideas, you know, tarot readers that's doing it, that have something, an acquaintance with a Taurus or whatever. But someone wants to be happy, but they don't know how because they're codependent. But they're not realizing to to be happy, they're going to have to, you know, fill up their own cup and come from under being codependent. Something can have something to do with the Gemini. It's a tower coming or it's going to be a tower between you two or whatever, because y'all are at odds or something of that nature. You could find out that a Pisces or whatever have an incurable STD. That's why they're moving away from you or they moved towards a Taurus because someone else around in this dynamic figured out that someone like literally sell their body through the tarot room or someone's going to find out that someone sleep with their partner and it could be your relative and um, it could be your divine masculine or something of that nature or did sleep with your relative. Um, it's going to be a tower for Taurus, you or someone, if, you know, people don't stop, because um, it's seemed to be a lot of partners here. And someone is also, a t tower is going to come for someone because they're selling their body and they're a tarot reader. Um, they can feel rejected. This person can feel rejected. And this, it's the reason for why they do this, but someone's going to get a new car, but someone is just addicted to stealing and they could read tarot. It could be a Virgo. It could be a Gemini. It could be you, Taurus. It could be a Pisces. Somebody got an incurable STD, maybe because they, you know, when they feel rejected, they run off into the sunset. As it says right here, I'll find men or women and I'll get revenge on you or whatever. Um, someone is addicted to stealing and being deceptive and tar uh, a tarot reader that could be a Taurus, could be you, Taurus, that, and that's praying other people's downfall and the reason for why they keep getting blows hit left and right of reaping what they have sown because they're wishing bad on someone else. Um, someone wants to be happy here, but they don't know how. And it's because they feel rejected because even the partners they sleep with, they could go out for one night stands and those people don't ever speak to them again or whatever. So they seek out revenge and may have caught a STD in the midst of it. Someone that's your soulmate. Uh, this is very well here, a Taurus here. And so you, Taurus, you could be, you know, dealing with your soulmate or see one of these partners as your soulmate, but you're focusing on your pinnacles. Or you could find yourself maybe coming together with this person and living with them or gaining stability with them after y'all go through all these odds and ends, or maybe y'all went through this already, or maybe going through this or in the future, maybe going through this and it could be, you know, but something, it has a lot to do with someone stealing, someone having sex 
here probably with people they don't know and it's all coming from rejection and it could very well be that this person is a divine masculine that's doing this because it says a woman hopper you have from woman to woman you don't settle down you know partners you sleep with don't ever call you again so it make you feel rejected or make you feel lonely you could be doing this some of this stuff in the tarot room you could have been dealing with the virgo a gemini a taurus like yourself or it could be you taurus or a pisces or a scorpio and very well so a taurus here you could be a tarot reader so, yes, this is what I got for you, Taurus. If you don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. Somebody is a sex addict. Taurus, I don't know if it's you, you're looking for happiness, but you can't find it because you're being codependent on sex or going from partner to partner. And getting triggered when they reject you. And you just go find another partner. Someone's being deceptive. This could have something to do with someone. Taurus, you could be involved with stealing from some someone in the tarot room. You could have helped some people steal somebody's work or something of that nature. It could have something to do with a Virgo or a Scorpio or a Gemini. Your cousin could have slept with your divine masculine or your divine masculine slept with your relative or you did this to your folks. And it's all coming from rejection. Someone could read tarot, but they sell their body in the tarot room. And it is all coming from, stemming from rejection. I'm just going to tell you that now, Taurus. You could be wanting to go and support someone, a tower for support, follow you, following you. You could have supporters that's going to be following you. Um, the holy is love holds no grievances. Oh, I bit my tongue. Love holds no grievances. The holiest of all of all the spots on earth is where an ancient hatred has become a present love. Okay, so somebody could be hating on someone or and then turn around and call themselves loving them or something of that nature. So, Taurus, if you don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. Bye.